Right, so a bit of a chill video today. This is kind of the story of how I got where I am today. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a chilled, laid back one. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Just gonna have a chat about where we are and how I got to where I am now, which is no amazing place, by the way. I've not made it or anything like that. I'm just kind of telling you the journey so far. Um, so yeah, hope you do enjoy the video. Uh, without further ado, we'll just kind of get into the ramble. So I grew up in Manchester, Middleton to be exact. Um, went to Parkfield Primary School, which was around the corner from my house. Um, loved it there, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, as a kid, pretty smiley, pretty happy, a little bit of bullying, you know, as, like, as everyone kind of deals with as a kid. Kids are mean. Um, love football, love city, before we was good. And um, yeah, I remember my first, my first ever memory of being a little bit of an entrepreneur or a little bit of business was um, selling little bouncy balls and little key rings in primary school. Um, so I had a little Tupperware with little, you know, things that were like 10p in the shops, you know, little bouncy balls. I don't, you know, I don't even know where I got them from. I might have just took them from my home and took them into primary school and was selling them for like 20p, 30p each until I got sold off, of course, from the, um, like, the, you know, the year three teacher or what it were, whatever it was at the time. So that's my first little memory of selling um, and being a little bit of a business entrepreneur. Following primary school, went to high school, middle and technology school. It was all right. Enjoyed it, you know, high school is what it is. You know, I'm not really, I was always top set, triple science, got A's and B's and stuff, but it's never really had a passion for learning, learning. I found it quite easy and I didn't really want to want to go up like a proper academic route. It just wasn't kind of my vibe, but obviously still did quite well. Played a lot of video games during high school, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, all that good stuff. Uh, surprisingly, surprisingly didn't sell Mars bars or LucasAids. My friends did that. I was just, I was chilling. Um, but apart from that, high school, nothing to write home about, you know. Um, then we go straight into college where I did A-level. So we did biology, first year biology, environmental science, geography, media. Boring, 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 boring. Having a hard time at the time in college, my mental health, anxiety panic attacks, all that good stuff, like going out raving and stuff. You know how it is growing up, and that, that kind of weighed down on me. So yeah, dropped biology, second year, um, didn't pass much in the first year, I just wasn't really vibing with education. At the time, I was selling on eBay um, a little bit, I was watching Nick Hills, Zaheer, Ben Fitzpatrick, so I was just getting a little taste for going to car boots, a little taste for selling on eBay. I always loved eBay as a kid, so I'll, I'll go a little bit backwards again. Um, as a kid, my mum and dad would do car boots, so I'd always go to the car boot with them and have my little side stall and I'd be selling all the games that I'd love to have now, like all little GameCube, Xbox games, DVDs, all my toys. Regret selling them now, but I had a side stall all the time at a car boot, so the, um, the style's always aligned. I love car boots. I, you know, obviously make car boot videos now. I loved eBay. I always sent my dad links to eBay when I was like 10, 11, you know, to try and get him to buy stuff. Like, I think it was the artist teddy bear collection, magazine collection. I wanted the whole thing. And I think I sent him a, a link. It was like 80 quid or something. Never got it. Never got it. But, um, yeah, always had a, an affinity to eBay. I remember my dad bought me Soul Calibur on the original Xbox from eBay. Remember that? Um, he used to buy me Britons, soldiers, the little Indians and cowboys and stuff from eBay. And then, yeah, when I was in college, I was just getting going with selling on eBay. Um, I think it was like 2016, 2017. I actually made a YouTube channel. Uh, it's got like 10 subscribers. It's private now. I did make a reselling video years and years before I, I made this channel. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just a big part of my life, eBay now. Um, it's where we are. So, so yeah, college. Second year, didn't take the exams, was really in a bad place, mentally, physically, just like nah, just wasn't good. Substance abuse, all that kind of stuff. Not not good at all, not healthy. Um, so yeah, crying in college, anxious, panic attacks, all that good stuff. Um, but still to this day I do suffer with, it's just kind of a part of me. Um, so yeah, left college. Um, when I was in college, I was part-time lifeguard. So I was doing that after college, um, which I did enjoy at the time. Um, so yeah, after I left college, I went and did that full time. So I was doing lifeguarding, swim teaching. So, you know, teaching kids from the age of three to like 12. 
I uh, really enjoyed that. It made me a bit anxious at the time, though, as well. Like, I was going, you know, if I ever was feeling anxious, I'd like my chest would just be pounding for four hours teaching. So it wasn't healthy for me. Um, but yeah, the lifeguarding was good. Did that for a couple of years. Ended up leaving um, and working for Vodafone for a little while. Again, still in a bad place, though. Wasn't looking after my body. Substance abuse, all that good stuff. Um, you know, then went back to lifeguarding, bit in a bit of a cycle. This is while selling a little bit on eBay here, a little bit on eBay there. Obviously knew I had something with eBay, but just never really got in, got myself in gear and actually did it. Um, you know, and, and the lifeguarding and the swim teaching was never gonna be the end game, that's how I felt. Um, I just knew that I could do this eBay thing. And um, yeah, we had lockdown in 2020, was it? Um, so yeah, I was getting a full-time wage into my bank during lockdown, which I was very grateful for. Uh, but then, yeah, March 2020, I made this YouTube channel. Um, I actually made this YouTube channel two weeks, three weeks before lockdown. So there was a couple of videos out before COVID was kind of prominent. So I didn't make it during lockdown, it was just before. Um, and I was just basically, my first few videos was just showcasing a few sales, like, you know, like sales update kind of thing, like old trainers here, some games here, just kind of a little, small little video. I was very nervous at the time, you're going back, back and watch it now. Um, yeah, totally different person from where I am now um, in terms of confidence, health, how I'm feeling within myself and, you know, my surroundings, super, super different. So yeah, I really enjoyed making the videos at the start. You know, it was in lockdown, so it was it was hard. It was getting Facebook pickups. It was, you know, doing a bit of listing here. I was renovating the shed. It was exciting because I was initially in my, in my loft at the time. It was exciting. It was exciting. But I always had those demons of, you know, substance abuse and anxiety and panic and depression and all that good stuff. A lot of, lot of things in play. So I never really got grips with it. Do you know what I mean? And, and was consistent with it. You know, I was getting the money in from my full-time job anyway, so I didn't need to do that. Do you know what I mean? I was, I was, so it was kind of counterintuitive. Um, but yeah, I've, I've had stints where I loved being in the gym, but then I didn't do anything out of the gym. I was literally three hours in the gym and then wouldn't do anything for the day. You know. Um, so yeah, literal swings and roundabouts, roller coasters all over the show. There was no real. I knew about this eBay and YouTube thing that I could do. But it was just kind of finding myself on the right path to do that because it was just like you say when you when you've got your own demons it's hard to um to deal with them or put them to one side or do you know what i mean so yeah during lockdown like i said i weren't too consistent but i got a little bit of a follow on youtube a couple thousand people watched three four thousand did some day in the lives we did the car boot championship we did the waffle and I really enjoyed it, do you know what I mean? But again, at the same time, I was really struggling with anxiety, so my chest would be pounding all day long. It wouldn't be like 10 minutes here and there, it'd be like day after day after day. I'd wake up and feel it straight away. Um, so yeah, just trying to make the videos while feeling like that, it was just like mad. You know what I mean? Going to charity shops, like do enjoy going and filming and stuff, but just still feeling horrible at the same time. It's just you know, catch 22, do you know what I mean? Like you love doing something, but at the same time, you're just not in a good place. So it's hard to enjoy that thing. Um, so yeah, I knew I knew I was really good at eBay. And I knew I knew I had the potential. I've been learning about it and doing it for years. Just not doing it to a serious level. Um, I just knew that there was so much opportunity um, on YouTube and on eBay. Um, so yeah, I think it was, you know, what, 20, so I had a good, I had a good year on YouTube, not like good years in, you know, like consistent, but you know, like I was on YouTube for a year. Then I had a year off um, when I was just literally, that's when I was kind of just going to the gym, not doing anything. Um, so yeah, literally, I think it was 13, 14 months where I didn't make a video. And then I came back and made that where's, where did John Luke go video, which, you know, I had four or 5,000 views pretty quickly seeing like people you know because i always got messages during that 13 months I, d I wasn't in the headspace to reply to them but i did see them in the corner of my eye it was like oh i hope you're doing well man like miss your videos etc and i had a lot of video you know a lot of messages like that i still had ricky and kieran as friends didn't speak to them a lot though it was just kind of wasn't in that reselling world anymore i just kind of removed myself from it completely um just sometimes maybe just 
that year was what I needed. It wasn't because I was neglecting myself during that year, but it takes time to heal from things, certain personal things. I won't go to like loads of different details, you know what I mean? But um, maybe I'll write a book one day in like 10 years, 15 years or something. Um, but yeah, we came back. Um, I wore the little gold Juventus jersey, um, which was way too small for me. Um, made a couple of videos, Charlotte messaged, so this is the first interaction with Charlotte, she messaged after seeing my video back, she watched me before I disappeared, um, and she messaged saying, oh, glad you're back, hope you're doing okay, um, then asking about taxes, like everyone asks about taxes, I'm not the tax man, okay, I don't know the answers, um, but yeah, we got talking, I had a holiday booked with my mum and dad for Cornwall, like a week later, so we ended up meeting, because it's right next to each other, we never looked back from there, and Charlotte put up with me, you know, for three, four months of not doing anything. Like, you know, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't, didn't have the motivation to get out of the house. I was felt dizzy, you know, just not in a good place at all, mentally and physically. And, um, you know what, we're in September now, it was last October when I started listing on eBay, my new account. Um, I did open the account a little bit early in the year, but it was October, so it's not even been 12 months since I've been back on eBay properly um so yeah october i just started getting some listings going i had the little shed just to my to my left here tiny little thing um which we knew was not gonna suffice i was super grateful when they when they built it and stuff because it was you know it showed the willing that they wanted me to be here for charlotte um it was yeah dad who built it and we moved into the garage and that's where that went um we built that up as much as we could but at the same time day by day getting a bit better a bit, bit more confident again the videos slowly getting back to it october november december um yeah and then this year january february march just you know slowly building that ebay back up getting confidence back with the videos and now you know months later what we got nominated for an ebay award in in august We've done a video with eBay, you know, in June, July. We've had blessings from lots of different places, um, which I knew was possible years ago when I was right in the thick of like a real dark place. But to see it come into to light and to fruition is great because I know my parents worried about me for a long time. I know my dad knew what was capable of eBay. Um, my mum didn't. She's um. She wanted me to go to uni. I, I was like, I'm not going to uni. Uni would have killed me. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not a crazy story, but you know, it's just my story and I thought people would appreciate seeing it. Um, it's not too in-depth. Maybe we'll answer more questions or do another video like this in the future or a book or whatever, you know. Um, I'm just kind of taking each day as it is, trying to be positive, trying to spread positivity because, you know, you know, the more positivity is spread, feel like the more it comes back and you know you just gotta push out the positive energy because if you sit down there and you're, neg you're leaving negative comments on people's stuff and you being negative I just feel like negative things happen to you and it's just never gonna turn around so you've got to really carry a positive light and a positive attitude to everything that you do um, because you know I, I truly believe you, if you push that positivity it will it will bounce back to you eventually um, it took a good few years for me for it to to pick me up but um yeah i put up with a lot of crap for a lot of, lot of years and um, i'm glad that i knew that i could get through it but and it, each day still is now a battle do you know what i mean you still have the moments but i have a strong foundation now me and charlotte are real good for each other we real complement each other um and um yeah couldn't be here couldn't be here without her definitely um she is my, you know, rock, as they say. <laughs> um, and I'm hers, do you know what I mean? We really complement each other and we really help each other where we struggle um, in life. So, yeah, obviously a massive love and shout out to her. Um, if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be making videos anymore. So, yeah, everyone give her props to Charlotte in the comments down below. Um, but on a reel, I'm excited to come back after holiday and smash it again and keep up the content 
keep up the positivity um, and just see where it takes us, man. You know what I mean? We, we really want to get that house as soon as we can. We've got, we're saving and working hard, as always. But um, yeah, I hope this video was nice for you. A little bit of a more chill one. Hope you had a nice cup of tea and enjoyed it. I do like these storytelling type of videos, so in future I might do a little bit more of these. More like chill, calm. They're not really clickbaity. It's just kind of, you know, just kind of, we're just vibing, we're just talking with a blank background. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all having a great day, great week. Keep smashing it. If you're having a bad week, just know that it will get better. And um, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, leave, leave a like, leave a nice comment. I'll read them all, reply to them all. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>